something happened this past weekend in Texas. I don't know if you saw this story. Um, Drag Your Kids to Pride was an event that happened in Dallas. Um, And essentially, it was an event where children went to what looked like a nightclub and they it was a drag club and they would dance with the drag queens. They would perform with the drag queens. They would give money to the drag queens. The drag queens would perform for them. The kids were there with their parents and or guardians. Kids played musical chairs in front of the drag queens. Kind of, we have some of the images of the dancing yes. that we can just show for people who missed we it. Have pulled up here. So that's the kids playing musical chairs. You see their parents in the background. Um, can we show the signs as well? Yep, um, right here. These are the signs that were on the wall. It's not going to lick itself, and I licked it, so it's mine. Now, I ask you, you're a, you're a parent out there. You walk into that place. You see those signs. You don't walk right out? Even if you were well-intentioned going in, maybe you thought it would just be a fun event. I don't know why that would be in your mind because children don't belong in a drag show. They just don't. We'll talk about why in a minute if you need that clarification, although most sane people don't. But even if you you thought, oh, it's going to be a fun, innocent event, you walk in, you see those signs. I mean, people were dropping low, splits, very provocative dancing um, in front of very, very small children. I mean, those are kids. So we have several problems um, that are going on. This is this is the sign, A, of a society in decay. Not the drag shows, but the fact that you have drag shows for kids. One, what's going on with parenting? Why are parents, I mean, take the drag component out of it for a second. Take that out completely. Pretend this is just a regular nightclub. Why are, your, why are kids there? Do you take your kids around at night? You're like, hey kids, wanna go to the cigar bar? Hey kids, wanna go to the club? At night, hey, you want to go for a happy hour? We can all, you know, pop some shots. This is not normal. This is not healthy. This is not, I mean, kids don't need to be around alcohol and club scenes and provocative dancing and sexualization. This is not healthy or normal. Now, my concern is, did the, A, okay, did those parents want to take their kids there? If so, I need to talk to them. Why? B, are these parents feeling pressured to take kids to places like this so that they can say, well, I'm on, I'm on the cool team. I support it. See, I'm, I'm good. I support it. You don't have to come after me. I support what's going on. Don't worry. I'm condoning it. I'm supporting it. See, I have my kids. Is there a push for everyone to kind of support, endorse this stuff so much so that now children are involved? This is deeply, 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 deeply concerning. And it's not, I was told, you know, when I brought this story to the surface, people were saying, oh, this is happening in New York. There's taxpayer dollars that are being put out there for drag queens to come to schools and they do makeup lessons for kids. What? What is taxpayer funded? What is going on? What was surprising to me is that it did happen in Texas. So that's my point. It's like, this is trickling everywhere. Okay. Now, I said take the drag component out of it for a second. Let's take that component and bring it back in now. I say this, as I grew up in New York City, right? I'm a live and let live kind of gal for adult. I'm like, you do you, you know? I have friends, gay, straight, all stars and stripes. I've been to, I went to a drag club myself, I think for a bachelorette party. I think I was like 22. Um, There's a place called Lucky Chang's. I don't know if it's still there. It's in New York City. It's very famous, can be very entertaining. I would not bring my child there. That's not appropriate. Um, But there was a time when people just wanted to be accepted. You know, I remember a time when um, a friend of mine actually came out as gay to me in college. And I said, we had a conversation. I remember her saying, I just want to be accepted for who I am. I just want to be left alone. I don't want to be discriminated against. And I want to live my life. And I was like, awesome. That's how it should be. People should, adults should, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, as long as you're not asking someone else to pay for anything, as long as you're not asking someone else to endorse what you're doing, you should be able to live the life you want to live in a free society. Great. That's not what's happening now. What's happening now is there are a lot of woke causes and they they don't just want you to accept that you have to, you have to endorse it. You have to say, I support this. You have to put on a pin. Let's pretend this is a pin. It says bullshit, but you have to put on a pin and say, this, I support what you're doing. I'm a fan. I'm, I've got you. Why? Why? 
I do plenty of things in my life. I don't need someone else to endorse or support. Why? Why are we at that point now? And it's so much so that they need the children to support it. They need little kids. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that those little kids were comfortable in that room. They don't know what's going on. They're like, I want to go outside and play. What am I doing here in a room? What, what is this? Weird? They don't want to see a dr- Kids do not want to go see a drag show. I'm sorry, but they don't. Adults wanted them to go see that show for some reason, one reason or another. And it's pervasive. I mean, you see Tyra Banks now has that um, show out. I'm looking for, I think it's on Discovery Plus. I want to be accurate, but I think it's on Discovery Plus. Kai, can you just check that? It's a show about teenage teens doing drag. Um, Looking it up right now. Yeah, I I believe it's Discovery Plus. Discovery Plus. Yeah, Tyra Banks, executive producer of teen drag series for Discovery Plus. Right. So this is real. This is happening. This is pervasive. What, why? Why do they need? It's like, in other words, this needs to be not only you don't, they, they don't need you to say you do you. They need you to say, that's amazing. I love what you're doing. I support it. I don't just condone it. In fact, I'm going to make a sign for it and put it on my lawn. That's where we're out in 2022. No one should have to do that. No one should have to do that for anyone else's cause. I'm sorry. And leave the kids out of it. Leave them out of it. Let them grow up. If they decide as an adult they want to go to a drag show, they can do what they want. Stop putting woke political nonsense onto kids. Stop putting kids in places and saying, see, this is cool. You like this. If you go to school, just say you like this. So you'll be in the cool club and no one will criticize you and you won't be... Raise your kids to think for themselves and get them out of spaces where they don't belong. They don't belong in the bar, they don't belong in a club, and they don't belong in the drag club. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.